the signal from the camera, which is mounted on the glasses, goes directly to a chip, which is implanted in the visual cortex of the brain. So my eyes are not a part of the process, then? Absolutely. The camera bypasses them. But, Danny, remember, we don't see with our eyes. We see with our brains. Now, I'd like to tell you that if the operation is successful, you would be able to see like everyone else. Well, that's not going to happen. The best you could hope for is a fuzzy black and white image. Maybe it'll be good enough to keep from bumping into things. Maybe it'll be enough to see a face. Yeah? Oh, thank you. Yes, please. It's Dr. Evans. I've asked her to join us. I know you know her. You feel comfortable with her. She's going to be a vital member of the team. Dr. Evans? Oh, Dr. Perkins. I'm Rish. Oh, yes, Danny, that's right. That's, uh, that's my new scent. Do you like it? Yeah, yeah, it suits you. What do you think, Doc? Smells good. Dr. Evans is going to be responsible for putting together the psychological reports of all the potential candidates for this operation. I got no problem with that. Good. So then all we really need to know that if the FDA gives us the green light, can we put you down as a potential candidate? Oh, you, you can take your time, Danny. And this is a very important decision. So, uh, do you have someone meeting you? No, I'll get a cab if you can point me in the right direction. Sure, well, you know how to get out of the building, right? Got to memorize that. Okay, you hang to the left. Go about 15 paces, you should reach the street, and a cab should be waiting there. Sounds good. Okay. I can take him, Dr. Perkins. I'm leaving now. I think I can manage Doris. The name's Lisa. Why doesn't he use his cane? Because he doesn't think of himself as blind. Good night, Doris. Good night, Danny. Taxi! 